What's going on guys, Greek Freak here, and in this video we are going to be talking about the NBA Draft and I will be recapping sort of main highlights of it. I will be showing of course the results of the entire draft throughout the video, but I will be talking of course about the big major highlights to it. Now of course, when it goes down to it, we already knew the fact that this was full of the top three. We knew the fact that the top three were solid picks as far as Zion, John Morant, and then RJ Barrett. Now, the one thing that was very confusing was, of course, the fact that them still handing out the hats to the players due to the fact that the trades do not go through until July the 6th. But as far as what we do know, that number four pick, which was given to the Pelicans, was traded for to the Atlanta Hawks. As I mentioned in my previous video that I thought that the Atlanta Hawks were definitely the team that the pelicans wanted to trade with and i thought the fact that they both benefited out of it as the hawks traded up to get deandre hunter and whenever we talk about going back into it they still ended up keeping one of those top 10 picks so that's definitely one thing you definitely wanted to see they ended up keeping that number 10 pick and were able to definitely make moves i definitely liked what the hawks were doing and of course one major thing that we court I didn't even see happening, of course, was going to be the Suns trading away their pick. So I mentioned the fact that I thought it was a possibility that they would trade the pick, but I definitely did not expect the Timberwolves to be that team to trade up for it. Now, of course, they're trying to get another shooting guard, very much a similar type of way of trying to get more scoring onto that team. We thought maybe they would go for a point guard in Kobe White, but ended up going down and passed on him, going down to the Chicago Bulls. Then, of course, we saw the Suns just make a bold move with Cameron Johnson trading, going all the way back to that 11th pick once again with the Timberwolves pick and just maintaining a player like that who, to me, is the best shooter in the draft, but his durability and other things most people had him projected to be a top 20 pick and this is a major thing i want to talk about in this draft which is there were so many mixed feelings as far as teams there were some teams that just thought oh this guy should be going up here this guy shouldn't be this far and it just led to so many different and wrong projections by this nba draft preview and what many people thought just because of i guess individual workouts and not seeing what they wanted to see from some of the players uh hashimara of the first japanese first round pick in nba history going to the washington wizards and i just thought the fact that that was very interesting many people said they wouldn't take him with a top 20 pick but of course we saw that the wizards thought high enough of him to even take him earlier than he was projected so it just shows that mixed feeling that was going on with that team and of course another major move i have to mention is of course Nasar Little going way down, way down from where he was projected to be. Now, I was not a fan of him being projected as top five when he first started before the college season even started. Uh, I thought the fact that that was a little bit way over, but I did not expect him to drop all the way down to the 25th spot to the Trailblazers, which I think got a great steal out of that. The Trailblazers mentioned for their fact that they thought Nasar Little was going to be the 12th pick, which is what he was definitely projected to be. So I thought the fact that they definitely made some good moves there. I thought that that was a huge, huge move as far as that happened. I didn't expect a drop off like that. And it just showed once again, what people thought as far as mixed feelings with these players, some thinking higher up some, some thinking lower. And it was just so showing the fact that no team was really thinking exactly the same in this regard so we definitely have to see the fact that that is a shocking move to me um so whenever we talk about that i thought the fact that that was pretty good for the trailblazers and the next one the major drop off that i definitely did not see happening bull bull 44th pick and was ended up traded now he is going to the denver nuggets a team that didn't have any draft picks i expected the fact that they were going to end up trading for a draft pick and i thought that that was a great steal for them as far as what they need now of course 
Bol Bol coming off that foot injury, breaking his foot early into the season. And some of it is questioning is going to be his health due to the fact of his size. But you take a chance on somebody like that. That is definitely what the second round is for. And you have to like the fact that they definitely try to make a move there as well. So I just think the fact that this draft really did surprise me in many ways as far as with some of these teams that ended up trading up, trading down, all that. Like I mentioned, I wish that they would get rid of the rule that that the trades for draft picks can't go through till July the 6th. I really just think the fact that when you're talking about this draft, it was just so confusing, I guess, from that standard that it's like, oh, yeah, they have to wear this hat all the way through the draft. And I don't even think this year they didn't even mention the fact that the tr- that the picks were traded or anything. They were just sitting there saying the fact that they were selected by them, which in past drafts, we definitely heard the fact that they would say this tri- pick has been traded. But guys, I mean, I think the fact it's very interesting as far as that, like I mentioned, I think the fact that the Pelicans made a good moves as far as getting two more picks out of their number four position and definitely considering like I mentioned I thought the fact that they felt pretty solid about the point guards that they had and I didn't really see a player as far as what they're going for there they definitely wanted to make up a course for Anthony Davis and have a center to play with this team and I thought the fact that they picked a very good one in Haynes as that was a very good move I liked the, what the Trailblazers did I think they did really good in this draft um it just to me was exactly what we expected like i said that top three was a solid locked in thing but whenever we definitely look into it we definitely saw the fact that players made moves teams made moves the hawks made moves and i just think the fact that it was a great all-around draft as far as the positions and things like that and i also want to talk about it these players really got very emotional it was very deep uh, personal as far as just the family life to it but guys tell me what you guys is like about this draft what teams do you think did good what teams do you think did bad in this draft tell me what you guys thoughts are there if you guys enjoyed this video make sure that you guys leave a like and subscribe to come out of the greek army today and as always this is sparta